Hello. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hey guys, happy April. Happy April. So we hope you guys have all been happy and healthy, self-quarantining. We wanted to give an update vlog. Uh, of course, everyone is fully aware of the global pandemic that's going on. And so we are self-quarantining in our own home. Mm -hmm. um, so unfortunately, we're not out kind of in about doing a vlog. We're doing it here in front of our fireplace. So we wanted to start by just kind of checking in with everybody, seeing how you all are doing. I know a lot of you are probably working from home or some of you are also quarantined yourselves. So we live in California actually where the situation is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So everybody here basically is quarantined. The both of us are healthcare providers. So things have been especially stressful lately. So we apologize if any of our uh, Vitala Cerda videos are like a day or two late. Uh, going into the series, we didn't anticipate that this was going to happen. Yeah, the goal so, was to get it out a, every, a video Thursday, every Thursday, but, but things are starting to get shifted uh, kind of up to when we can get them out. And speaking of, we hope that you're enjoying the series so far. I know we're, we're yeah, enjoying making good. them. Yeah. For those of you who also follow our Instagram, we apologize, but that's pretty much going to be on hold for a little bit. But this month coming up on our channel, we are, of course, are going to be continuing our list the series. Uh, we also have a couple of vlog reviews that we're going to try to get out, a few more playthroughs, but also we wanted to kind of try to do something for folks who are all, you know, work from home or quarantines. So we're thinking about doing some play alongs yep. and we wanted to see what your thoughts were on them. So when we say play alongs, we mean games like some roll and rights, like Railroad Inc or other games that we can kind of film, pre-record and that you all can play with us while you're at home. Yes, and compare scores at the very end. Yeah, it's not going to be something that we'll be able to do live, but at least it's something that you all can kind of play along with us this time. And then, yeah, like Nadine said, kind of comp compare scores at the end and see how we, we all did. That maybe that might be fun. So let us know what your thoughts are on that. We also just wanted to give you all some resources that we are aware of for those, like I said, who are at home and need something to do. We know a, a couple of people who are doing live streams. So one of our good friends, Ruel Gaviola, he uh, runs a uh, Facebook Live daily at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and it's basically a, a lot of play alongs and that's live. Those are live streams. Yeah, yeah those are live. Um, so you do typically have to have the game that he's playing in order to play with him. Uh, but really really nice guy really really fun to yeah. do yeah if you're if you love all things board games his content is you really want to check him out yeah. he does a lot of good stuff for the community and mm -hmm. i'll post all the links down below uh, so that you can kind of see what he's up to and, and maybe participate in some of those live streams we also have our friend paul grogan a lot of you may know him he runs a youtube channel called gaming rules and he does a lot of really good uh, board game tutorials lately he's been doing a ton of live streams so if you're interested in board game live streams, check his check it out. Yeah. yeah, check his channel out. We mentioned in a previous video that there's also a board game designer documentary. We still haven't seen it <laughs> because we haven't had time. But if you are an aspiring board game designer out there or just want to watch content like that, we'll go ahead and post the link below as well. For all of you King Domino fans out there, we also know that they released a print and play expansion. So if you are interested in checking that out, you can, I'll, I'll put the link down below and you can print and try it out and let us know how It's going to be a lot is. of links. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of links for you to choose from down yeah. below. And also we know some board game companies are doing stuff. I know Renegade has some stuff going on with live streams as well. So you might want to check them out. Which brings us to the topic of board game companies and board game stores. Yeah, with this pandemic, yeah, I mean, all sorts of businesses are are forced to close down uh, temporarily. We don't know exactly how long it's going to go on for. Uh, so it is kind of concerning uh, knowing that some of these businesses that run on really, really tight margins uh, are going to be shut down for several months potentially. Yeah. So as much as possible, if you have the ability to, to support uh, your gaming stores or these different companies, um, you know, we always encourage that. I know our favorite actually local gaming store is kind of at risk for not making it through this time, which is really, really sad. Yeah. So any kind of help that you can give is good. And lastly, as per usual, we are going to talk about our favorite gaming experience of the month. Would you like to begin? Sure. Yeah. My was favorite yours? game was before the quarantine. We actually is our last time we ever did a game group. This is like early, early March. So yeah. it technically fit right in our window. Uh, for the month, and that's Glenmore 2. <laughs> we uh, finally received a copy of it, uh, so we will be doing a video for that mm -hmm. uh, coming up soon. Uh, but we played it, full full complement, four players, fantastic game. Yeah, that was really, did you win? I did. Yeah, he, he won like that it. one, so that's why he liked it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, that was a really, that's a really fun one. Yours? 
Mine is a game called The Crew. It's kind of, a, it's a trick-taking game that's kind of taking the world by storm. If you're not familiar with it, you should definitely check it out. Yes. We're going to put out a review for it this month. So the whole premise of it is it's a trick-taking game, but it's kind of a campaign. There's like 50 yeah. different missions yes. that you can go on. And it's basically like a 50 variations of a trick-taking game. Yep. 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 <laughs> but it's space-themed and it's it's, and it's so, cooperative. It's, it's a cooperative. cooperative. Sorry, that was game. the most yeah. important part. It's a fully cooperative trick-taking game. Yes. And it's really fun. So technically it's for three players and above, mm -hmm. but they do have a two player variant. It's not as interesting and not as hard as the higher player counts, but it's still really fun at two. Perfect during a quarantine. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. So <laughs> we've been playing that pretty much every day, yeah. trying to get through all 50 missions. I think we're like 35 or 36 deep. Yeah, yeah. and that, that game is really fun. It's so that's been my favorite. And what about your runner up? Runner-up for me was uh, Horrified. We did that playthrough of that. I really, really like that game. Uh, I'm excited to play with different combinations of villains and monsters uh, and just see how we do. A higher player count. Higher player count, yeah. <laughs> when we get out of this quarantine, a higher player count, yes. Yeah, yeah. And my runner-up experience is uh, we actually did participate in one of Ruel's live streams. It was for uh, Railroad Inc. Yeah. And it was really fun. I enjoy that game anyway, but it was really fun being able to play with you know, the community, kind of see him on camera, and it just felt like there was more than just the two of us yeah, yeah. in one space playing this game at the same time. Yeah, that's one of those games that, you know, you can put it away for a while, and then you bring it back out, and you're like, yeah, that's really fun. I, yeah, I enjoy that Yeah, it's like really yeah. quick to play. Yeah, so. easy to teach, easy to play. Yeah. yeah, so that was good. So what was your favorite gaming experience of the month? And we also would like to know how you all are doing. If you would like to leave a comment down below, or you could even email us. We'd love to hear what your favorite gaming experiences were, how you're coping with the pandemic, what you're doing in quarantine, how your gaming experiences have changed, and what you're able to do to continue gaming during this time. And also let us know again if you guys are interested in doing that play along style gaming that we're thinking about doing. Uh, that'll be very helpful. So until next time, please care for each other, take care of yourselves. You've probably heard this a million times over, but if you can please just stay home, Wash your hands and just stay healthy and be safe. Uh, also, please participate in self-care while you're home. You know, take care of your mental health because that's really, really important, especially during this time. So until next time. Bye.